Full copy of any recorded match is available to buy for scouting, training and analysis purposes. We also offer services to individual players who are looking to build a video portfolio. For more information, please contact us on Twitter or send an email to williams at wdsports.co.uk. Thank you. Hello and welcome back to WD Sports, episode 3 of the Midweek Football Non-League. North Division midweek match saw a lower mid table clash as Great Bakering Rovers travel to Barking. The away side looking to halt a slide and seen them lose four of their last five matches. Barking had the ball in the net early when two players converged on a looping ball into the box, but the referee showed no hesitation at blowing his whistle for a foul on the great wakering keeper. Clear-cut chances to trouble the keepers were fairly thin on the ground in the first half. The closest either side came to scoring being when Nana Boka Yirdum flashed a shot across the face of goal that should have been turned in by Larry Akanbi. Barking goalkeeper Montel Joseph showed some fragility in his attempt to clear a wayward back pass, but Great Wakering were unable to pounce on his errors. <laughs> Barking almost took the lead when, awarded a free kick in a dangerous position, Billy Reynolds curled the set piece just over the bar. It was to be the last significant action of a largely disappointing first half that gave way to a thrilling second. <laughs> Great Wakering enjoyed a great deal more of the ball and looked more threatening with it too. They arguably should have taken the lead when Matthew Rush was played through, drawing Joseph well off his line before squaring for William Harris, whose weak finish was easily cleared off the line by recovering barking defenders. <laughs> Rashid Kamara won the ball back twice, putting pressure on defenders, leading to a Canby shot that was palmed skywards by Lewis Halls, the keeper scrambling to bat the loose ball away, but only as far as Ab Seymour, whose goalward pass was turned in from close range by Boca Hirdum. <laughs> The striker's name will be the one on the score sheet, even though it seemed as if Seymour's shot was going in anyway, not to mention the potentially legitimate claims of offside from the Great Wakering defence. Oh, 
Great Wakering sprang forward in search of an equaliser. Jason Rings probing past being cut out before Fermin Nagandu pounced to have his shot well saved by Joseph. <laughs> The visiting side seemed to lose their touch shortly after, Anthony Martin snatching his shot well wide before Reynolds again came close with another curling free kick effort that landed on the roof of the net. With 15 minutes to play, Barking would score their second through a mix of skill and good old fashioned Group 1 football. Substitute Ola Ogunwamide did well to struggle for defender and race after the ball, playing a perfect pass across the area for Boka Yirdam to slide in and double his tally for the evening. Martin had clearly not brought his shooting boots, again shooting out of the ground before Hawes was forced into a good save to deny Boca Yirdam a hat trick. The fresh legs of Ogun Omide caused continuous problems for Great Wakering, he along with fellow substitute Toby Joseph bringing saves from Hawes before the final whistle. A solid win for Barking, who remained within distance of a top half finish, while Great Wakering must wait at least another game for a chance to grab what have been at late highly elusive points. Romania hosted Chaffon St Peter's in a midweek game in the Step 4 South Central Division. Romania held the ball for much of the first half, but struggled to parlay their dominance of possession into clear-cut chances. Their opponents, however, despite seeing less of the ball, would immediately spring forward when they did, looking threatening every time they won possession. This manifested itself, however, in mostly long-range efforts that proved to be not too much trouble for FC Romania keeper Adrian Darabant, until the stroke of half-time, when Jeff on St Peters won a free kick midway into FC Romania's half. <laughs> Adam Morris drifted the ball to the back post, where Adam Kirby was well placed to head the ball across the goalkeeper and into the bottom corner. Go, 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 go
FC Romania's evening soon turned from bad to worse as they struggled to clear a corner that was eventually picked up by Aaron Minas, the midfielder cleverly finding space before unleashing a fine strike that flew into the top corner. A disastrous end to the first 45 for FC Romania, who found themselves suddenly 2-0 down despite controlling much of the match. The home side didn't wait long to improve their efforts in the second half, as they unleashed a sweeping move of clinical one-touch football that ended in Roddy Lemba's low header into the bottom corner. FC Romania continued to apply pressure after nicking a goal back, but had a potential one-on-one -on -one opportunity denied by a very close offside call. Dimitri Shiriak on the left-hand side was their biggest threat, consistently leaving defenders in his wake as he ran, but the final ball was always dealt with by Chaffin keeper Michael Power Simpson. The away side would begin to come forward in the later stages as they look to finish the game off. Substitute Michael Callow coming closest when his left footed strike clashed against the outside of the near post. FC Romania were unable to make up the deficit, ending the evening in a 2 1 defeat. They remain, however, theoretically at arm's length from relegation, or the three points for Chaffold St. Peter's all but confirms their safety for another season.